I have some more blind bags. Stay tuned to see what's inside them. I buy all of my blind bags off of eBay and I have a blog post where I go into detail along with screenshots and everything of how I search for and what I'm searching for to get these. This particular set is one of my favorites. It's the cup model. So this should be like glassware, drinking cups, things like that. We've gotten these. I usually order two sets of blind bags at a time and then I spread the videos out, but I almost always have one set of these cup models, as they call them, because those I find so, they're gonna be so good to fill the kitchen in the dollhouse. I ordered these on April 26th, and they came less than a month later. Oh, the expected delivery date for these was May 31st to June 27th, so they came, and they came in around the 19th or 20th of May, so ahead of delivery schedule. This is a good time of year to order these, uh, spring, summer, early fall, they usually come pretty quickly. If you order them around Christmas, the shipping is a lot longer. Uh, this batch, there's 10 bags and it cost around $2. So that's what we've got. Let me set the camera up and we will start opening these one by one. All right, let's, let's see what's in the first one. I always have to kind of feel around the bag before I open it. I don't know. All right. Okay, another little stem gloss. I'm pretty sure we've got some of these already. We're collecting a set of a lot of these, and I love it. These look so good with the dolls. So let's see what the next one is. All right, let's see what number two has. Okay, it's a mug. Oh, I love these. That is cute. Oops. That is a cute mug. I like the color of that. That'll look great in the beachside bungalow because we're doing all the blues. So let's see what the next one is. All right, number three. Now I will try to have pictures on the blog post with the dolls interacting with each item so that we can see what they look like. Oh, that's an interesting glass. Oh, that looks like something like my grandmother would have had. It's, I'm not sure how well the video camera is picking up. I'll try to have a good picture on the, on the blog post. That really, to me, looks more like a flower vase, like a bud vase, than a glass. And I think this, with a flower in it, will look magnificent in a dollhouse. Oh, I can't wait to use that. Let's see what comes next. All right, number four. Oh, that one's harder to get open. These little red bags are a little harder to get open than the uh, bigger white bags are. Okay, a clear coffee mug. I like that. That'll be fun to fill. I need to fill some of these. Besides putting them in the cabinets, I need to do some that are filled with stuff. I like that. It's a nice basic coffee mug. Let's see what's next. All right, this will be number five. And in this set, I encourage them to send me duplicates. That's why I order these like every time. All right, and then, yeah, this we've had before. These are the kind of large glasses. It can either be like a nice tea glass or it can be turned into a flower vase, which I think this would look really cool uh, with flowers in them. So let's see what comes next. All right, number six. Yeah, feels like a glass, some kind of glassware. All right. It's a little stem glass. Oh, it's the same as the first one, which, like I said, I'm fine with that. And it's exactly the same. That'll be nice. I like matching sets of glassware. So let's see what comes next. All right, this one I accidentally tore before I turned the camera on. I got excited. Sorry about that. Okay, we, I think we've had these before. I know we've had them in yellow. <clears throat> I think we maybe have had a blue one, too. This is a style of glass that was very popular... I remember them from the 1960s. My mom had yellow ones in the 1960s, early 70s. Um, I love this. This will be really cool in the beachside bungalow. Let's see what comes next. Number seven. I think it's empty. I don't, 
don't feel anything in there. Yep, we got an empty bag. Well, that's that's a bummer. Let's see what comes in the next one. All right, number nine. I think we've gotten empty ones before, too. I guess at this price, you uh, kind of expect that. Okay, another one of these blue ones. Cool, I love these, and that is perfect. Let's see what the last one is. All right, in our final bag, number 10, let's see what this is. Okay, it's one of these, we've had these before. They're like a beer stein or a big mug with the embossing on it. Cool. Let's get a look at all of them together. All right, so here is the group of what we got today in the blind bags together. I love the cup model series of blind bags. And for these, I love getting repeats because usually you have multiples of the same glassware in your cabinets, and that will make the dollhouse look a little more lived in. Oh, we got a good mixture this time. I don't remember if we've had these in blue before. I love them. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've had these exact ones before, and that's great. I'm collecting a set. Same with this one. The mug, I don't know if we've had that in blue. I know I've had it in green, and I think another color. I love the blue. This one is my favorite, and I think that will be a bud face. I think I need to come up with a single stem flower of some kind to go in there. So what was your favorite out of these? And what kinds of blind bags would you like to see me open in future videos? Be sure and check the blog post for better photos. I'll try to have ones with the dolls interacting with them as if possible so that you can see the size and scale. It's much easier to see scale with a doll than it is just on my tray. If you enjoyed my content, if you enjoyed the video, be sure and hit the like button. Leave me a comment. If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed, be sure and hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching today, and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.